In the following video, we will be demonstrating tracheostomy care, putting special emphasis on suctioning. A common diagnosis for some students with severe disabilities is cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is a disease that affects the brain, and the brain also affects some muscle movement and muscle conditions. One commonly side effect of cerebral palsy, it deals with your muscle tones, and it could affect the chest muscles, which also deals with the breathing, and it causes difficulty swallowing. When it affects the mouth and throat muscles, clearing the airway can be difficult. As a result, people might aspirate food or actually have saliva to secrete down in their lungs. Breathing problems can also interrupt the sleep. A lot of students who have cerebral palsy have difficulty sleeping. Those students commonly need to have a trach or they need a suction and pump to help with make the breathing floor easier. Now I'm going to show you the suction pump and all the supplies that are needed to keep the secretions out of the patient's airway. Okay, this is a suction pump. A suction machine is prescribed for patients who need stimulation to cough and to bring up secretion. A portable suction machine creates the air pressure needed to suction mucus from secretions from the mouth, nose, and trach. Most suction machines come with a regulator dial, and this is the regulator dial right here. That can be set for, for the suction pressure and it should be prescribed by a doctor. Secretions drain through a length of connection tubing into a collection bottle that comes with the machine. This is the reservoir bottle, also known as the collection bottle. And that comes with the machine. Also, some pump suction pumps are battery operated, but this is one that actually has the plug attached. But they are portable suction machines that do come with a battery. Next, I'm going to show you the yanker tubing. This rigid curved tube is called a yanker, made from a blend of clear, blue tinted, shatterproof plastic. Edges are smooth and clean with no flash or parting lines. Clear tips permit visual monitoring of suction fluids. A ribbed universal connector fits into the tubing and suctions the mouth. Next item I'm going to show you is the suction catheter kit. It comes in this container and the single use trach care kit helps care for tracheostomy patients and it contains the following. The first item is going to be the suction catheter. Okay. All right, also inside of the suction catheter kit, uh, you're going to have the gloves. Because it's very important that you use everything inside the trach, dealing with the trach or suction, you need to be sterile. So you also need gloves, okay? Also, you're going to need the uh, pop-up suction cup. It's folded like this, but then you pop it up and it comes in it. And finally, the last item that I want to show you is the connection tubing. The connection tubing drains the secretions from through the tubing into the reservoir bottle that's located on the suction machine. And it connects like this. You take this little top off. Little cap and connects it like this. Okay, and one final detail before we get ready to suction our patient. As with any healthcare procedure, it's very important that we must wash our hands. You should wash it before the procedure and after. And it's also important that you wear gloves because any type of infection that deal, that a patient could catch from you from not being sanitized and not having a sterile area, sterile area can cause an infection such as pneumonia. Now we're ready to suction the patient. Uh, you notice everything is connected and we're going to suction using our yanker tubing. Okay, it's our yanker tubing. We have our gloves on so we're going to take the yanker tubing out. This is our connect connector tubing. 
And we're going to actually connect. Okay, next we're going to actually suction Mary. Okay, this is going to kind of irritate Mary, but this is what we want because it's going to make her cough and it'll make it easier to get these secretions out of her airway. We're going to cut the machine back on again. Okay, if the patient had an airway that was bypassed, then they would have a trach. The trach would be covered with gauze, and what we would need to do, we would actually, well, he, she would have gauze because it would need to be sterile. That keeps that area clean, and for any infection or anything getting into it, it would be a little slit there, and that would keep any um, infection or anything getting in there, any particles or anything. So we would have to remove the gauze, okay? And then we would take this yanker tubing off, and we would have to use the tubing that was for a tray. This is what it looks like. We talked about it earlier. We plug it in here, and we'd actually take this and insert it into the little slit that the patient, and that's how the patient would be suctioned. The same way the machine works the same way. It still has the connector tubing and everything. All the secretions would go into the reservoir. And finally, since we know how to suction a patient, now let's go over a few cleaning and maintenance procedures. The collection unit should be cleansed daily by the caregiver by washing it in hot soapy water and rinsing it with warm water. And the tubing can be cleaned using a one-to-one -one vinegar slash water solution circulated into the collection unit, thus help keeping the cut the mucus, the tubing, and freshening the collection unit. So that covers suctioning. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was informative to you.